Hey folks, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. One of the things that is very common in any fighting sport, martial arts, um, grappling, any of that kind of stuff, um, is the idea that you need to get more information. Um, A new combo, a new way of standing and moving your feet or you know moving your body it's the acquisition of techniques and information and knowledge that's going to make you better um, see that a lot with with beginners where you know especially in the, that that initial stage you're like oh you know I've learned the jab cross for example right now I want to learn adding the hook or I want to learn overhands and Superman punches and all that kind of stuff. And while having a wider array of tools, weapons, um, techniques in your bag is an indicator, can be an indicator of making progress, being better, um, reaching a certain level of proficiency in your craft in your martial arts or whatever it may be, um, it's not the only thing. I mean, there comes a point where it's not about adding more techniques to your bag, right? There comes a point where instead of adding, it's actually better for you to think, well, what can I take away? What can I eliminate from my bag or from my repertoire that is no longer serving. Or you can even get down to a more granular basis that, you know, knowing this here, and this is maybe this is my go-to technique, it is not serving me in this particular context. Maybe it's the environment. Maybe it's the rule set. So it's better in those cases to eliminate some of those things, even at least temporarily. And then you can always go back and reevaluate if that's something, that technique, uh, that weapon may be something that uh, is a a better fit for another context, another, um, another rule set, right? So um, that in and of itself takes a bit of self-awareness. You've got to, one, you've got to be willing to look at yourself in an honest way and say, okay, Based on what I'm trying to do, of course, it helps to have that as well, right? Is that you have some goal, some ideal that you're working towards that makes it much easier to make decisions going forward. So once you have that, then you have to have some more self-awareness of, okay, and and self-awareness and and, uh, humility to say, okay, well, I want to get rid of this or I need to get rid of that. Um, It's not serving me. And then... um, if necessary, replacing that thing you got rid of with, with something that's going to be a bit more useful or just not have anything at all, right? One of the areas where this really comes into play, at least for me in my classes when, when I'm teaching, is in sparring. And typically it's with the more beginner uh, folks where they're getting frustrated, right? They're, they're trying to get in. They're not they're not t- getting their, their their shots in there or they're they're getting pummeled so invariably they'll ask you know hey what is it that i can do what is it that i can add should i be thinking about something else um is there some other technique that i'd be able to use to to get in there and sometimes the answer is yes but more so a lot of times i find the answer is it's not about adding something to what you're doing right now or focusing on, you know, do this and then this, right? It's like, you know, you've got to simplify. <laughs> you got to think, okay, I just want to make one hit, right? I just want to get my foot on that person's leg or get my hand on that person's belly, my fist on their belly and just leave it at that to so simplify what the plan is, simplify what they're trying to do. And it just makes it much easier for them to be able to focus and to actually make some measurable progress because they only have a little 
uh, thing, um, one little bit to focus on. So that could be it. Another thing I tell them often is that they just need to loosen up, <laughs> right? They're getting hit a lot because they're slower. They're not able to land their shots because they're telegraphing and because they're slower, right? So one of the things that I, I say to them, it's kind of like one of my mantras, right? Even for myself is in between flurries, check my breathing, check my tension. What's my plan, right? It's that second bit that most people have a harder time with where they're so tense. They're so they're thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm going to get hit. So I got to brace myself or, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, they're just so wound up, right? That it just makes them inherently slower. So they have to get rid of that tension. So I just teach them, hey, like, you know, you got to find that place where your tension, you notice your tension initially and then start loosening it up. Personally, for me, it's in my shoulders, right? In my traps, in my shoulders. After I take my breath, I move my shoulders around a bit, loosens up there. Oh, now it starts loosening up the rest of my body and I'm much much more fluid. I'm much more able to, uh, to, to land my shots or to deliver my shots in, um, in a faster way. Right. And, um, I can move away from any offense that's coming my way much more easily because I am, um, I'm more maneuverable, right? I'm, I am more fluid. Um, so that those are examples of, of taking away as opposed to saying, okay, well, yeah, why don't you uh, try a Superman punch or try, you know, uh, spinning uh, spinning wheel kick or whatever, like just adding on to the things that are already doing. Hey, let's just simplify it now. Let's just take away in this particular context, in this particular, um, in this particular environment, let's reduce. And it's not about being minimalist just for the sake of being minimalist or uh, reducing. It's it's for a purpose, right? It's for you to uh, to improve and to be able to watch yourself and watch your progress or regression more easily because you have less to have to focus on, right? So this applies very well in the ring and on the mat, um, but something that you can apply outside as well in your everyday life, in your career, in your relationships with your family, with, with your friends, um, with yourself, right? Uh, that relationship with yourself is what can I get rid of that will help me in this particular season of my life, in this particular context, in this just this moment, right? And it doesn't have to be something that is physical in terms of a... Uh, a possession, right? A physical possession that you can hold in your hands. It could be a thought. It could be something you you learned in the past and you continually just repeat it to yourself over and over, you know, consciously or subconsciously. A belief that you've had over the years that it may have helped you in the past to push through and to, to get to a certain level of success or accomplishment, but for you to move on to the next level in your life, to the next season of your life, you're going to have to get rid of that. You're going to have to eliminate that. And it may be just eliminating that. It's not about, okay, I have to take this new course or I have to get this degree or I have to, uh, you know, get this, that, or the other thing to help me out, it's, you know, to replace anything. It's just, hey, let's just get rid of this limiting belief that I'm not enough or I need more education or, um, I need more friends to be able to do X, Y, and Z or to be X, Y, and Z. Just let go of it and see what happens. See if that's something that can help you move forward without having to learn anything new. Hope that's helpful, folks. This is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. Talk to you next time.